The last week, Filipino President Rodrigo Duterte vowed to wage war on Canada if they didn't stop dumping garbage into the Philippines. We won't pretend to be impartial in this fight. We explained last week, if it's war, the Philippines has our full support. I was shocked that he would send his garbage to the Philippines. A struggling third world country needs more Canadian garbage? I mean, it just seemed well, probably so got insensitive. I and mean, that seemed like, I don't know, that seemed like a form of, of colonialism. Garbage colonialism. Well, I don't think it's ins I don't think it's a question of insensitivity. You know, Tucker, our prime minister is very, very sensitive. He then why is he sending his hair gel bottles to Manila? It just seems like <laughs> white privilege to me. I'm just throwing that out there. So it looks like the threats from Duterte worked. Canada's ambassador has said his country is scrambling to bring back mm. Trudeau's hair gel bottles. Yeah. We've already indicated that we are prepared to take the trash back. Um, so um, this is an issue that both governments have to work on and solve together. So that's all I'm going to say at this point. Yes, but the timeline of the government for you to take it uh, back this week? We're working as quickly as we can. No timeline. We're working as quickly as we can. So Canada just got backed down by the Philippines? Oh, no, this, 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 is, this is terrible, Tucker. These are used adult diapers that Canada, when we go to war, we take it seriously. This is Canada's shock and awe, leaving used adult diapers on the dock in Manila. And you were wrong to blame <laughs> Justin Trudeau for this. These are adult diapers, and he's still on child size. So if you continue to provoke us, Tucker, with all your saber rattling to Canada. We've read that poem at the bottom of the Statue of Liberty about the, uh, the, the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. This is the most amount of refuse on the most teeming shore in history. And we're going <laughs> to drop it off in the harbor in New York if you don't back off with your saber rattling to Canada. <laughs> We'd have to beat you in a pillow fight if that happened. But I, mm. <laughs> I got to mm. say, do you think as a Canadian... Does this damage the national pride that most Canadians feel deep inside? Well, I, th I think it is actually a beautiful thing because this is recycling in action. You know, before we just used to toss the adult. Well, I personally give my adult diapers to the Clinton Foundation because that way they're tax deductible. But before <laughs> we just used to toss before we just used to toss them in the landfill. And now we say, oh, well, we need to save the planet. So let's ship them all the way to the Philippines and leave them sitting on the dock in uh, the Philippines for six years. It's you know, very smart. Is, and you know why? It's for the climate. And I, just, I yeah, want to thank you for your work planet. on behalf of One the climate. One diaper at a time, Tucker. One diaper at a time. However many diapers it takes for the climate, we'll mm. be there, you and me. Mark, great to see you. Thank you for that. Thanks a lot, Tucker.